Good evening, Doctor. Um, I'm Philip from England, but I've lived in Thailand a long time now. Uh, and I'm uh, very interested to ask you a few questions based on my treatment at your centre, which is now finishing tomorrow. Um, and uh, I have an interest in, in Ayurveda, which is why I came to your centre. And I'd like to ask a few questions about that. Thank you. Okay. So I've had a wonderful 12 days so far, two more days. Um, I, I love the variety of treatments that you've offered. Everybody has a smile on their face, everybody likes to help. So you feel comfortable, you're okay, except for the tarpana? Except for the tarpana. Um, but I understand in English we have no pain, no gain. Okay. So that's the pain and the gain one. Um, but, you know, the lovely ladies doing the washing and uh, the cook who's been cooking me wonderful food three times a day, making my tea and all the treatment people, the men and the women, excellent, very. Thank you. Very. Uh, so tell me, what so, are your curries? So, because I've studied a little bit of Ayurveda, Ayurveda. I've never had a chance to check my understanding. First of all, I appreciate your uh, patience uh, for staying in Taiwan. Thailand. Thailand, yeah, yeah. Thailand for over 35 years. 20, 27 years. 27 now. years. Yeah, yeah. It's really admiring. And I learned that you have been to pagodas and other mm. monasteries yes. for learning the Eastern knowledge. Yes. So Ayurveda is a part of Eastern knowledge, you know, yes. Oriental science yeah. it is called. So you have, I, I hope you have little uh, inherent feeling about what I speak, mm -hmm. what yes. I try to express. Yes. So that's a good uh, battery inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. So, I mean, okay, that's great. The first thing that everybody reads about Ayurveda is diet. And with the three doshas, you have foods that aggravate or pacify the dosha. My understanding is that when your main predominant dosha or any of the doshas are imbalanced, then we get health ailments or illness or mm. sickness or something. And, uh, and so we have to rebalance um, what, we, what has been aggravating us. Now, for example, um, a kapha person um, should avoid bananas, papyrus and pineapples. Now, in Thailand and India, these are very common fruits and very tasty. So in pineapple, there's a kapha, you know, generally the digestive fire will be low. Pineapple is a digestant. Okay. You can rather use it. Okay. No harm in that. Right. Okay. Only thing that because it is a fruit and juicy fruit, a yes. lot of water, that is the only problem uh, aggravating the kappa. Right. But the properties which has it, it has got is fire generating. Okay. So that's a good thing. Okay. And you can have it actually reduces the ama, the indigestion. Okay. okay. Yes. Then papaya. Papaya is also fine. Yeah. It is not uh, bad. And then I wonder where did you get this list from? Banana. Banana uh, is of course cold. It is not a very good item for kapha. Right. So it, that can increase the chest congestion. This can sinuses, if okay. it may increase. Sinus congestion may be there. Heaviness will be there. Low fire. But now will bananas be good for vata people? Vada as well, Vada has got the, Vada and Kapha carries the same quality of cold. Yes. Okay. Vada is dry and Kapha is anxious, oil. Yes. So okay. that's the difference. Okay. So banana is dry cold. It is not that good for Vada as well. Okay. So, I mean, in books and online, you get lots of lists of, of, of foods, um, fruits, vegetables, yeah. uh, pulses, uh, nuts and seeds. And, uh, and so, for exa again, for example, with kapha, it says no nuts. Eat no nuts. Eat? No, do, avoid all nuts. So, no coconut, no almonds. Ah, no all nuts. nuts. Okay. Yeah. But coconut is not a nut. Right. Coconut is something special, you know. It has got a pulp, it has got water, it has got oil content. Yes. The excellent oil in the world. Yes. The coconut oil is the excellent. Recent studies have shown that the, the cancer in the abdomen, Yes. That can be uh, rectified very fast with the daily consumption of Inta in intake. intake yeah. as well. Yeah. Maybe massage yeah. as well? Yeah. Okay. Intake. Yeah. 
So, so that is not a nut. You cannot. It's only okay. the word coconut. It's just the English it's language. Fruit. Yes. It's a coconut. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to almond, because many many Western people they view almonds and and cashew nuts and walnuts and Brazil nuts. That's all dry nuts. They're all seen as uh, as as, as um, uh, healthy, nutritious foods. Yeah. But kaffa, for example, is advised not to eat these nutritious, healthy foods. This is a confusion for, for me and, and, and maybe no, Western people. No, you see, uh, see, the kapha people, in fact, it's a dry fruit. Yes. So, actually, vada people are not supposed to take it. Right. Kapha people can have it. Yes. But why kapha people does not need that? Is already kapha people are nutritious. Right. Okay. They are well built. Yes. That's why they became kapha people. So there is no additional protein and other things are necessary for it. Mm -hmm. That is the reason it is not so good for kapha. Right. And the vada, what happens? It adds up more dryness in the vada body. Yes. That again aggravates the vada. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. So it's a thing which we can have a supplement, mm -hmm. little bit, a little bit, yeah, from time to time. Yeah. yeah. So th th this is my this has been my understanding because uh, in, you may know in America and Europe there are hundreds and thousands of diet books but Ayurveda is the only system I've come across that looks at individual people yeah. and, and, and it's the greatest difference between other Padis, other systems yes. and Ayurveda that is the greatest failure also Ayurveda on the perceptive uh, knowledge of people people and say they get one medicine and treat for everybody that is not the way and, and, and you mean that's not the way of Ayurveda? Yeah. yeah Ayurveda so actually sees the body as a whole. This is this is exactly the mantra right. is body as a whole. Yes. Yes. Not that particular organ. Mm -hmm. Not your fever. Not your cough. Yes. It is the body nature. Yeah. The body nature has to be balanced with the medicine which is given. The medicine which I am giving tomorrow, another patient may be a different one. Yes. Same problem. But the due to the change in the constitution. We call it constitution, prakriti. Right. So the prakriti. change in the balance of the vada, pitta and kapha belt, that platform is there. Yes. If there is an undulating changes in the vada and pitta and kapha, accordingly the medicine may change. Some may have ushna, yes. heat. Yes. Some may have shita, mm -hmm. cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some may have dry quality. Yes. Some may have unctuous quality, oily quality. Yes. So accordingly the medicines may change, the combination may change. The preparation of the medicine may change. Okay, so this leads me to a, an important question yeah. for people who, who would like to learn Ayurveda to help themselves, is how you can begin to diagnose your own ill health. Because of course I don't always have the time yeah. and money to come to yeah. you or, or and I'm not and even... Accepting the external cause problems, you know, yes. contagious diseases, mm -hmm. infections, mm -hmm. all other problems in the body can be almost can be judged by the patient himself provided he has some knowledge about the prakriti, constitution. What is his prakriti? What is his deeds? What is his daily regimen? Yes. What does he eat? What does he do? How does he sleep? Mm -hmm. What does he drink? So, um, typically, if I get a, a problem, a health problem, because I'm imbalanced, is that, now, if, if I'm kapha, mm. is that because kapha is my dominant um, constitution or dosha, and therefore, if I get ill, is it because my kapha is imbalanced, or could it be that some pitta or vata is imbalanced? And how to know? Yeah, the disease, uh, the the disease possibility is more for prone to kapha. The possibility of disease, what you can have, I mean, a kapha constituent man, is more of a uh, kapha dominant okay. disease. Okay. But that that is not always true. Right. You may have some other this thing due to your antagonistic food habits, antagonistic yes. uh, exercises, yes. antagonistic places where you live. Yeah. Suppose, for example, a kapha people, kapha man staying in a coastal area. He may get more kapha related diseases right. because the cost has got a quality of humidity, right. humid, humid air. Yes. Humid air is a favorable factor for kapha increase. Right. Okay. 
Whereas a man staying in a place like Bangalore, it's a hilly area. Yes. It's a dry area. Mm -hmm. The humidity is very low. The mm -hmm. air is thin. Okay. The, the, the coastal area, the air is thick. Right. So if you are permanently living in a kapha man, you're living in a high range, mm -hmm. hilly area, mm -hmm. the kapha dominant disease may be reduced. Right. Okay. So that is the influence which the circumstances give you, the, the, the surroundings give you. And if you are taking more of uh, uh, ghee, if you are taking a lot of milk, if you are taking a lot of oil, food, this will upset. Yeah, you. this will increase the kapha again. Okay. Okay. So that is the influence of the pragrati, your pragrati, the natural pragrati. Natural and your pragrati, it makes a builds up. Right. So there's various factors. There's dietary factors, climate factors. Um, and mental and emotional yes. factors. Yes. Now, it now the mind is driven by this doshas. You know that yes. one pitta dosha, the mind will be always aggressive. Will always you be. will start. I want to do that. I want to make it. I want to have a change. That sort of. You will not tolerate with people. Okay, yeah. those who are not thinking in your line. You will not tolerate. No, do them, it that way. Do this way. You want them to change to your way. Yes. And that's yes. very much a pitta thing. It's thinking. a driving force. You know, it's a leading. It's a leader. Right. So they have a lot of idea, thick ideas coming into their mind each moment. Yes. Okay, that's a very dynamic personality. Yes. Whereas Kapha is a very slow thinking, but very rigid thinking, and they have perceptions. Kapha. They are um, they sit very peacefully. Mm -hmm. That is what I said. The peace. Mm -hmm. The heartbeat will be very peace, at peace. Mm -hmm. That's what you lap, noticed lap, in me when I came. Lap, yes. lap, lap, lap. The pitta will be lap, tap, lap, tap, lap, tap. Radha will be lap, tap, lap, tap, lap, tap, like that. That changes will be there right from a one particular change. The, what I do that pulse. See, we have that fingering. And we see the movement here, we place it properly, see one finger movement, another finger movement. And it's me that's moving your fingers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This, this movement we not. Mm. See, normally a pitta person, after talking this much and after having this much ideas in their brain to deliver out, they'll have a very fast pulse. Still your pulse is very low, but very strong. Right, meaning come. Yeah, yeah. That is what I said. Very interesting. So this is a very basic concept in approaching an Ayurvedic uh, management. Yes. So Nadi Pariksha, it is called Nadi Pariksha. Nadi is nerve. Na, how do you spell that? N A D I. Oh, no, Nadi. Nadi Pariksha. Pariksha means examination. P A R W E K S H A. Pariksha. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what about the vata thinking? Vata thinking will be, they will have a lot of ideas suddenly coming, suddenly going. The idea may not be so fruitful. They will have fast reaction. You know, when somebody talks to you, just immediately rush. Ah, yeah, no, no, that's not good. That is this. Yeah, that okay, way, yeah. that may not be a mature one. Yes. Okay. Quick to interrupt, perhaps. Yeah. Political Athlete. people. Best example is athletes. Yeah. The victorious athletes, the, the champions. In, yes. the, in the the in the game, the running, yeah. they are mostly Vada people. Okay. They can fly like you know. Right. Running will be like fly. Okay. Okay. Whereas a Kapha person, he may not be able to run fast. Hmm. He will not. He will be tired also after some. He may may not get tired with the uh, slow running, hmm. but fast running he is not able to. Right. Okay. Whereas Vada people can run very fast. You know, just like Arabian Arabian horse and. Other horse. There are two kinds of horses. Yes. Those who slow run for a long walk. Yeah. Those who run fast for a short distance. And that's the batter. That's yeah. And what's the, the what's the first horse? Is that kappa? Speed. Uh, yeah. The other one is kappa. Right. Okay. The speed is actually vada. Right. Uh, but that's for a short distance. Okay. But in pitta, every time, all the factors pitta in the between. Yes. Medium. In the medium. Okay. Neither too slow, neither too fast. I once thought the pitta could be the referee between a pata and a kapha. If you person. have a combination of kapha and pitta, that will be great in the world. Right. You have thinking, you have dynamicity. Yes. 
बट मेजोरिटी पीपल आर पिता एंड वादा और वादा एंड पिता एंड कफा एंड वादा और वादा और कफा and of course um this constitution of yours is decided at conception at the moment of co- conception not not birth is that right or when when is your dosha decided dosha is decided at the first you know communion right of the bija so bija means uh, the bruna uh, the bruna is called saigot yes okay the anda is the goddess bolus form mm-hmm. in the woman mm-hmm. and the sperm yes uh, bija purusha bija and the pragriti it is called purusha and pragriti purusha and prakriti yes. yes yes so that is what in chinese also you might have heard about yes. chin ching chan what yin and yang ah yin and yang yes. yes so that is everywhere in the oriental studies that is there two negative and positive like okay okay so the purusha uh, bija gets into the anta the uh, the woman okay and that becomes a zygote there it is formed it is not on the end of the uh, delivery it is not on the child birth right. it is at that moment nine months before and it's then that is your dosha for yeah, life the mixture of bija which parts of the bija yes. and which parts of the andas are prominent okay. which are developing as the organ mm-hmm. that decides the birth and that's decided by the current state of the mother and father that is the feelings mental feelings mental feelings mental feelings the brain is the first thing which is developed in the first 3 months right the f- brain is developed okay all the neurons everything develops in the first 3 months mm-hmm. then only the organs develop okay okay so the first the feelings which they have when they had the, had the course in the course and the the feeling they had or soon after the relation what feeling that she was weeping or she was crying she was very happy or she was taking a lot of spicy food right yes. all these things can yes. influence the child yes yes um so in fact those emotions and feelings um help create the genetics of of of, of the yes. the child that is why the health is overall not only the physical health yes now you might have come to know about the world health organization yes world health organization has changed the definition of health mm-hmm. from it is not a matter of just being healthy in the body right. it is a matter of health of the body the mind and the soul all three yeah okay yes so that's a definition of taken from the ayurvedic perspective i like that because i believe i i for my thinking is that we're a whole person but there's mental health there's physical health and there's spiritual, spiritual. health now if for example i'm i'm very mentally uh, stable and enjoying life and spiritually i have nature and i feel good mm-hmm. and maybe i eat some foods that are not good for my dosha maybe my it spiritual cannot, uh, and mental health can help keep me yeah. yes so it's a mixture of all the different things at any one time yes okay so if you're feeling strong maybe you can have a a, a bad cake with full of sugar <laughs> maybe yes sure. yeah okay because if the mind actually every moment lots of enzymes lots of hormones yes are re- are released in the body yes. we do not know yeah thousands and millions of hormones and everything is being produced which each thoughts from react that these are released um as a result of your thoughts and thinking which are triggered by your environment environment your habits your thought process mm-hmm. thought process is very important that hormonal uh, hormonal that is why the diabetes is related with the stress mental stress yeah mental stress mm-hmm. that causes diabetes it has yes. been studied yes so the stress means the thinking again comes yes so that causes a lot of hormones to release so that causes gives the toxins in the body so the basic what we call it is not a matter of taking a pill for a disease and forget about everything and go and enjoy it is not that that is what during the ayurveda treatment mm-hmm. we ask the people to be in peace yes to be here mm-hmm. and to be in communion with the treatment process yes do not uh, interfere with the you know the process procedures of the treatments 
what is this, why that is, why it is not good for me, I can't take this, I can't accept this. Yeah. That sort of antagonistic yeah. negative approaches that reduces the result. Yes. Because you're because you're mentally resisting yes. things yes. or questioning. Yeah. Yes. Because the mind will not allow certain things to take place. Can I joke within my mind about the tarpana being very painful and this is the torture treatment? Can I joke to myself? Is, is that okay? <laughs> or Finally, you should come to a conclusion that even though it is uh, sorry, torture is uh, good, it gives a good result. Yes. So that's the good thing you can do. Okay. So that, that's a very important thing in my understanding and you're confirming it through Ayurveda doctor that, that your mental uh, faculties, your mental thinking, your mental processes Everything to do with the mind has a big impact yeah. on, on, on our life. I view the mind, maybe it's because I'm a Westerner, I don't know, but I view the mind as the central processor of who I am. Now, True. That, because if I have a spiritual feeling of joy, maybe it comes from the heart, but it feels like I'm experiencing it through, through the mind. So maybe the mind doesn't produce this joy, but I can feel the joy through the mind, or, or, or maybe not, I don't, I don't know. You know, the mind comes in a lower stage. Mm. The Jiva Atma, the individual soul, yes. that is above that. The Param Atma, the Supreme, mm -hmm. that is on the top. Okay. Okay. The Param Atma does not have feelings, nothing. Right. It is a solid thing, just awareness, witness everything. Yes. Jiva Atma has got feelings, all those uh, blissful things and everything. Mm -hmm. The mind is a triggering thing. Mm -hmm. Mind is being implanted with individual. Right. Each individual with his surroundings, with his birth, by his virtue, the mind changes. Mm -hmm. One may be a criminal mm -hmm. by mind. Mm -hmm. He may not be do so with the Jeeva Atma. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. So even if that mind is there, a cruel mind, if he willfully joins to the, uh, you know, yetnya, we call it yetnya. That's a, uh, yetnya is something which we do, uh, it's, a, it's a trying out. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a work through which we can attain the Supreme. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that wrong, willful, uh, will, willing man decides to change through this meditation yes. and sadhana, meditation mm -hmm. and prayer that ill feeling can be eliminated. So a, a, a cruel mind by birth and by nature yeah. can be nurtured into mm. a not cruel mind. Yes. yes. That is the real Indian science teaching. Now that makes a lot of common sense to my, myself, but in Western thinking that is not their thinking. They think you are fixed from birth through your genetics and the environment basically has little to play. I think it's a crazy thinking. That's a basically change in the yes. material thinking. Yeah. The Western science is oriented with the material. Yes. yes. It is not so. It's a spiritual thinking. Yeah. So that's the difference between the huge gap between the East and West. Yes, definitely. So for the time being, for the present scenario, when somebody wants to be Bill Gates, okay. But once you become Bill Gates, he becomes a spiritual man. Yes. Bill Gates does not look for money nowadays, okay? Right. He's already filled up with all those things. Yes. Now he is okay, but earlier it was not so. Mm -hmm. For living our livelihood, we need money yes. as an exchange tool, okay? Yes. But that should not be the aim of the life. Yeah, okay. Bigger, 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 bigger. There is no end for that. We call it moha. Moha. Moha is going around, wandering around. Bigger things, bigger things, dreaming, dreaming. So moha is enough is never enough. Never enough. Yeah. Moha is something, you know, that is the, another word is called maya. Maya. Uh, maya, you may be. Illusion, dream. Yes. yes. Yeah. Ya, ma, which is not. Ya means which is. Okay. Ma is no. Maya. Yeah. Ya, ma is called maya. Ya yeah. is a Sanskrit word. Okay, yes. Yeah. yeah. What is not there and you are preaching for that is called a Maya. Mm. Uh, uh, illusion in the very common example in the desert. You see that water 
feeling. The mirage. It is mirage. Yes. It is not there. Yeah. So it's a Maya. Yeah. And the magician. Something what she is. So it is not. It's an illusion, right? Yes. If it is a real illusion, yes. it is not the trick I am talking about. Mm -hmm. But mirage is something which we can connect with. Yes. It is not there. Mm -hmm. So all this happiness and everything is not there. It's all. If your mind and Atma mm -hmm. is something very satisfied, mm -hmm. you are not shaken with all these the delivered goods yes. and the facilities. Yes. You will be always at bliss. Yes. That is why the saints are always in bliss. Yes. They do not wish anything, they do not want anything. Mm -hmm. Loga, Samasta, Sukhino, Bhavanu. Mm -hmm. Only thing they want is that everyone in the world mm -hmm. be healthy, mm -hmm. happy. Healthy, happy and harmonious. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Uh, so one or two other things that I wanted to ask you about. Uh, so, so if I say is diet more important than mental stress, it's not more or less, they're all important factors. It is, they are all important factors, but you can mental stress and all you can maintain by going for a med meditation, going for relaxation. Yes. You leave some path for relaxation. Yes. Per day, every day. So, what about, for example, um, saunas? The sauna, um, sweat, when you're, sa uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, S A U N A. Sauna, sauna, sauna bath. Yeah. Is that good for everybody or only for some constitution? For you, there might not be any problem with you. But maybe for a pitter, it would be a problem. Yeah, it probably would be. Okay. So that's another thing, you see, saunas, everybody says saunas are good for everybody, but not for everybody, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Nothing is universal. Everything is tailor-made. Yes. For the uh, dosha. And I, I feel a little bit sad, and this is why I'm writing a book, but we are not educated like this in Europe mm. and America. Um, and so we don't get the information, and if you haven't got the information, you can't act on it. But I was told that there are the biggest libraries there in the Germany and everywhere in the West with Sanskrit books. In Germany? Yeah. Right. But it is all the higher levels. Yeah. They would like to transform it into Western knowledge. <laughs> Maybe come out with, that's good. Yes. For the coming up uh, world order, it is good. Yeah. Otherwise it will be just going down, list. Yes. Um, so, um, if I think of the body, I think of the brain, the organs, and the heart, the blood, the stomach, and the gut. Mm, yeah. Which does Ayurveda place more importance, like begin work on one of them and then work through, or just stomach? Stomach. First. Jadhara Agni. This is the place. Yes. The this digestion. is the place the absorption. first food comes in. Okay. And the fire is generated. If the fire is wrong, the digestion will be wrong. Yes. If the digestion is wrong, the Sapta Dhadu, seven Dhadu, seven constituents in the body. Yeah. The first is a fluid form, mm -hmm. then it's a blood form, mm -hmm. then it's a mm, muscle form, okay. then it's a fat form. Tissues. All derivation, okay. Yes. One by one it derives. One processing it goes to another processing. <laughs> then uh, the bone bones, then bone marrow. See the See the ref uh, refined mode of each I am talking about. Yes, yes. Okay, this is a rough one. Mm -hmm. Fluid is rough one. Blood is some more refined. Yes. Muscle is some more refined. Fat is some more refined. As the uh, bone is some more more refined. Okay. Bone marrow is some more again supple. You know, very very strong inner thing. Mm -hmm. Then finally comes the body fluid which is some people call sperm, it is not the sperm alone. Mm -hmm. The sperm is only a small thing which is generated on the scrotum. Yes. The shukla dhadu which Ayurveda means, the finest dhadu or the seventh dhadu. That is the extreme subtle form of the food what we take. Okay. The finest and finest of the food which is derived from the food what we take mm -hmm. within a month's time. Not a lot, not a few hours, not a day, not a week. Right. A food taken today becomes the Shukradhadu of next month. 
Okay. The so last dhadu in the body which bonds entire body. If you do like this, if Shukradhadu is not there, your hand will go off. Right. The socket will go. Yes. You will you will your humerus will founder. Yes. You will have to keep it again like this. How do you spell this word? So Shukra. Yeah. S H U K R A. S H U K R A. K R A. So so the food you eat today um, has uh, has a one month time lag. It is a full digestion. That's so, called a full digestion. Right. So if, if if somebody's eating a bad diet and then they realize they've got to change and they change today, maybe wait about yeah, a month that, to, that, yeah. to see the difference. Time, more time. Okay. It is not that you take a painkiller and pain is relieved. It is not like that. Okay. Um, so going back to uh, so okay uh, so the stomach are there one or two tips um, to take care of the stomach to give it a good chance to work yeah, properly the dry, the dry food dry food yeah dry food not too much of dry fruits not too much of rhizomes you know raisins rhizomes below the earth uh, oh uh, not too much of rhizomes or roots Okay. okay, it should be a mixture. So and when it comes to a food, there comes six tastes. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Swada, Amla, Levana, Tikta, Oshana, Kashaya. Mm -hmm. Six tastes. Mm -hmm. Swad means sweet. Mm -hmm. That is the major taste. Everybody likes sweet. Yes. Okay. Amla is a sour, mm -hmm. S O U R, sour taste. Yes. Some people like it, some people does not. Levana, very taste making. Salt. Yes. That is the majority of the foods today. Yeah. What is that? Salt. Yeah. Salt. When you salt it, salt any food that becomes tasty. Yes. The entire junk food is salty. Yeah. And that salt does not normally resolve in the body. Okay. It gets too much toxins in the body. Yes. Okay. Tikta, bitter taste. Tikta. Mm, bitter. Yeah. Some food are bitter taste. What's okay. Tikta? Tikta is the name for bitter. Okay. Bitterness. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yep. Bitterness. Ushana. Ushana is spicy, chilly. Yes. Okay. Too hot. And the kashaya, uh, kashaya. Kashaya is something which is very, not only bitter, it's very long lasting. The kashaya is the decoction which you take sometimes, you may take in the medicines as well. Taste is too. Is that the astringent? Uh, not astringent. It's too much bitter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Heavy. So it's a it's a variant of bitter. That's yes. called a kashaya. Mm -hmm. So these are the six basic tastes tastes in the body, mm -hmm. and this should be in a common nature. So normally, the, the any food will be majority of madhura. That's the proper food. A food should not be too much of spice. Mm -hmm. Okay. It should be on the sweet side. Yeah. And there should be some uh, bitterness, there should be some spiciness, there should be some salt, there should be some, uh, you know, sour taste, all those things. But mostly yeah. sweet. Mostly sweet. Which is vegetables, yeah. um, carbohydrates, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, foods, okay. So, okay, so take care of the stomach and that is taking care of the rest of your body really, yeah? Yeah. So diet is very important. That which makes the body uh, towards the constitution or again away from the constitution. So that leads me to a question I wanted to ask you is that in diet we eat foods and drink our water um, and so on. But what about supplementing our diet with natural herbs? Now that's I know for, for example, amalaki. Yeah. Uh, so definitely. Uh, 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 the supplementing with foods which are needed to the body yes. will benefit. If you supplement the food which is overdose, that will distress the body. Yeah, that's the difference. Okay, this one. Sec. So perhaps the last thing is um, when I leave your center and go back home, what can I do to look after my eyes? 
the eyes health when you talk about the eyes health you know for each organ in the body yeah there is an attribute of dosha in it yes as far as your eyes are concerned and the vision is concerned the pitta is the one thing which is responsible for the eyes or the physiology of vision the vision is made by the presence of pitta so the aggravation of pitta is not good for eyes so generally speaking spicy food salty food okay these the two tastes are not good for your eye health could it be that i've lived in thailand for 25 years mm. as as a, as a british person growing up in there and that i've been eating a lot of spicy food because thai people i love spicy food so even though i'm not pitta i've aggravated my pitta which is impacted on my vision yeah. So be careful of spicy food. Spicy food. food. You reduce the spicy, you make more balance of uh, spice and uh, sweet. Okay. Now so the best I... food you can have is the bitter. 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 And That's herbs as well. Food. Yeah. Bitter herbs and bitter foods. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what about pranayama or exercises? Excellent. Excellent. How can I do pranayama? What can I pranayama do? Pranayama. You can simple pranayama is there. What is the simple breathing in and breathing out? And next simple simple thing is that take breath from one. Okay. One nostril breathing. Yeah. You have to low down. Yeah. Expand. Expand your lens. Hold it maximum possible. Then close the nostril. Release it. and you shrink yourself okay and then again then again from that no no from that hold it like that and then that way you can start from that each alternate yeah so maybe e- about thanks how here yeah and then in how here in here from there and then change yeah, yeah, yeah. marvelous so maybe about 10 uh, times will do in shit 10 times okay that's the best thing you can do then you can have a some more advanced stage you can have a bhastrika bhastrika means we make the fire you know olden times they used to uh, tap on a fan like the bellows ah yeah bellows bellows It creates yeah, um, like that, yeah yes feeds the fire it's a that was just with the mouth <coughs> yeah not the nose no it is not possible with the nose it's more air is needed and just after some time you know you feel like you are getting burst out feeling so that's like you running somewhere but you don't have to move you can just sit and do sit it. and do that and how long would i do yeah. that for 2 yeah. minutes 1 minute 2 minutes 1 minute hardly yeah and do this once a day or a couple of times a yeah. day after some time okay so these two things is okay right okay. that's good um and uh okay um i think that's probably it that's been very useful um is there one book that you recommend i could buy while i'm in india that gives a good low down on ayurveda or so many so many hundreds and thousands of books yeah the simplest language what they everybody say that the deepak chopra book i know deepak chopra yeah deepak yeah. chopra is the most popular uh, author in the west especially in the US do you know Dr David Frawley David Frawley exactly. I have many of his books ah yes so they're the great books uh, whom I have met David Frawley has understood more uh, than Deepak Chopra well he's very good for western minds because he's translated a lot of things from the sanskrit yeah. and from indian thinking into western fine okay very good i will recommend uh, some of the books if you need i i later on i'll refer and recommend yeah. okay marvelous Well, thank okay. you very much for uh, all that information. Wonderful. Thank you, Doctor. Long time. I have an interest in Ay- Ayurveda, which is why I've come to your center for two weeks of treatment, which is nearly over. Um, and uh, I'd like to ask a few questions that I have relating to my treatment and Ayurveda in general, because I feel Ayurveda is uh, very important. important source of information for western minds who who need information to help with their health um, in 
these very stressful, dietary, challenging times that we live in. Fine. Okay. Let us explore something whatever possible in say another Great. half an hour. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Very good.